my channel thank you so much for coming back today i am doing a hair care routine hair extensions routine i'm so excited it's something that i'm very passionate about i really like hair product i really like hair care and also i will also teach you how i maintain and take care of my extensions yeah stay tuned please don't forget to subscribe leave a thumbs up if you like these kinds of educational video on beauty products hair care products makeup please let me know in the comments down below and let's jump right in so for today my goal is to educate you guys as much as possible on quality products the ingredients in those products the ingredients that you should be avoiding and how you should be washing or maintaining taking care of your hair the first brand that I want to talk about today is Loma and Loma is a brand that I've partnered with many times. I really enjoy their brand. I've been selling it for forever for the past four or five years and it has never disappointed me. But most of their products are all sulfate free, paraben free and gluten free, which is very important for your hair. You don't want any nasty chemicals or any uh, silicone based products in your hair. It creates a, fi a fake shine and also a layer of buildup on your hair, which could be very damaging. It could be very hard for you to color your hair and take care of your hair in general. So it's very important to use something that has none of those nasty stuff that you don't need. So the first item is the Loma Moisturizing Shampoo. This is what I use on the daily. Uh, I don't wash my hair too often, maybe twice a week. And I will use this. I will use about two to three pumps and I will scrub it all over you don't have to just leave it on your roots you can wash your whole, the whole thing especially since i use a lot of dry shampoo or products i like to wash the whole entire hair and my extension at the same time and it's very simple uh to do and it smells really good second product that i use is the loma moisturizing treatment it's a really good treatment to use as a daily conditioner or as a weekly treatment you can use it as a mask depending on how long you leave it on sometimes i like to treat myself and leave it on for at least 20 25 minutes and it really creates a nice uh, moisturizing shine on my hair it helps with my split ends i do bleach my hair a lot so it is very important for me to keep my hair as healthy as possible so this moisturizing treatment is very simple it's for all hair type it's really good on colored hair uh, it adds shine and moisture, it straightens the hair. Their main ingredients is aloe, which is a very good moisturizing uh, ingredient. And the smell for all of the brands and their products is all of that like vanilla orange blossom. So their whole brand smells amazing. Definitely something to try out. I will have the website linked down below so you can have a little bit more uh, information on their products, their ingredients, and also their motto. My next product is for blondes and for blondes i use their loma um this is the violet shampoo it is very similar to a purple shampoo it's just not as intense and i feel like it has less ash pigment in it so it doesn't turn your hair too ashy and it keeps your hair pretty much violet so i recently did it a couple days ago and it's very simple after washing it with your regular shampoo I will, apply, I will rinse the regular shampoo, I will apply a good amount of this throughout my hair, try to not lather it too much, if you don't want to dilute it too much, if, it, if the soap starts turning white, you've done a little bit too much, so you want to keep it as purple as possible, I put a shower cap on and <laughs> rock that for a little bit, uh, I left it on for about 25 minutes and it really took out all the brass and the yellow and it kept me a little bit more on the silver purplish side which I'm not mad about. You can customize if you want it to be less purple, you can just rinse it out a little bit sooner. And if you want to be a little bit more silvery, you just leave it on longer. So very simple, same smell, soy free, sulfate free, gluten free, paraben free. And it's basically the main purpose is to brighten blondes and gray hair. So if you are a blonde and you feel like your hair is starting to become a little bit too yellow, definitely once a week, let this sorry hi Hime. what you doing baby girl what you doing definitely let this sit on it's very important please don't use it as a shampoo it won't work as well so it's very important to wash your hair from any residue that you have sweat product whatever and it really is amazing it will save you a lot of money in the salon and also it will also prevent you from having to bleach your hair more for removing that brassiness or that yellow 
So that completes for Loma products that I use on the daily. Another one that I wanted to mention is a clarifying shampoo. I know it sounds kind of weird to you want to for clarifying your hair, but it's also for your scalp. I feel that a lot of times people won't know, but you do need to clarify or exfoliate your scalp to make sure that the hair strands and hair follicles can breathe and can grow uh, as much as possible. And I find that this brand is called Generic Value Product. It is not a luxury brand. They are a luxury brand out there. Paul Mitchell has a really good uh, scalp treatment or uh, clarifying tea tree treatment. And this one is Tea Tree Oil Lavender, and it is comparable to the Paul Mitchell one. I picked this up uh, recently at Sally's, and I found this product at the old salon that I was working at, and they were dealing with a lot of natural hair, which means like African-American hair or curly hair, which is mostly more porous, which means it's a little bit more dry, and they have drier scalp. So this is really important to make sure that you remove any type of residue as far as product, dead skin, sweat, whatever's on your scalp, dry shampoo. And it's a very, very um, minty kind of feeling. It's very, very relaxing. I just really like to use that, especially wearing extensions. It is a little bit thick over there. It is, it is a little bulky at times, so it's important for me to really go in there and cleanse in between my extensions to make sure that there's no oil buildup or any type of uh, residue that's left over from just you know, having a hard time washing through this. So, um, and this is a really good thing to add before you do your purple shampoo to make sure that there's no residue, that your purple shampoo will come out as even as possible. So there's no spotting and uh, it's an even process throughout the whole hair. So definitely a clarifying shampoo is really good to use. Only use it once or twice a month. You don't need to use it all the time. It will dry out your hair and damage it. And after i would always recommend to do a mask it is very important to do a mask after you do a clarifying treatment or after you do your purple shampoo because you are clarifying or washing your hair twice technically it is very important to add that moisture back into your hair speaking of mask uh, a mask that i've used for years and years and years is the Sephira mineral mud mask and it's basically this giant tub and it's not very pretty looking to be honest with you guys but it is so rich and so strong and it is such an amazing mask uh you really don't need a lot i've had this tub for about more than a year now and i still haven't i've, I've probably got to the middle of it and i'm still using it i use it once or twice a month depending on how often i wash my hair and it has never disappointed me. Uh, it's a little heavy, so I would definitely suggest to rinse it as much as possible prior to like, getting out of the, the shower. Excusez-moi, je travaille. Silly baby, I'm sorry. She's just gonna freak out a little bit in the background for a second. But yeah, no, so this is a mineral mud mask. It's a healing treatment. It has 26 essential mineral combined with pure keratin. Keratin is the, pro uh, the protein that you'll find in your hair. It's also in your nails and your skin. And he may, I'm working. You're distracting. This is not you and your time. Masking your hair is important to restore that moisture, to make sure that your hair doesn't get dry and to ensure that you don't have any split ends after. Moving on to leave-in products. A lot of times I get a lot of clients that don't know that they need leave-in products, leave-in conditioner, because they assume I'm already using a conditioner. Why do I need to add more to it? And it's true, you are. But adding a leave-in conditioner really changes the game to make sure that you don't get split ends or that your hair stays shiny and it's easier to style. If you style your hair with a hot iron or flat iron or curling iron or if you do anything blow drying, putting product in it ensure that the health of it stays nice, it stays hydrated, it stays strong, it also improves the quality of your hair and gets rid of any split ends, flyaways, kinks, frizz, all that good stuff. So I'm sure that everybody's seen this bottle before. This is the It's a 10 Keratin um, Plus. It's a leave-in conditioner. It's a very, uh, it might be a little expensive depending on where you're picking it up from. I know Amazon has it for a lesser price. Uh, it does come in three different size. 
I have two of them and this is one of my travel size and my bigger size. I don't bother buying this bottle anymore because I just refill it when I travel. It's just easier and it saves me a lot of money because I can just, you know, buy this at the store. It's a larger size. This one has 10 ounce flow, so it will last you a long time. And I'm very generous with this in my hair. I spray very <laughs> a lot in my hair because I just think it's really good. And the reason why it's called it's a 10 is because it, it says that it does 10 things. And I'm gonna read you a couple of this. It's perfect for all hair type, replace lost protein, protects the natural keratin in the hair. Uh, it protects against heat, so it is a heat protectant. Uh, it detangles, it defrizz, you know, all of these things. And if you're ever at anywhere, you can find it at Walmart. You can find it like Safeway, you can find it at Longs. Just take a minute, pick up the bottle and see what it says in the back, what all the things that it's, that it's doing and also the ingredients. Um, I find that it is one of my favorite products, especially on my extensions. It's really a deep moisturizing treatment at the same time. So uh, definitely, yep, it's a really good leave-in conditioner. The HBL oil treatment, and this is what the bottle looks like. They recently changed their bottle to a plastic uh, recyclable bottle. So they don't deal with glass anymore. But this is the old bottle and I'm gonna miss it because I don't know, it just looks so fancy and even has like the oil dispenser type of top and on top of it and it's just so cute and i'm probably just going to refill this bottle because i just want to hold on to it and the oil treatment is color safe um it's a color safe oil treatment it is very thick it smells amazing but it's not overwhelming it's not too oily it won't make your hair greasy it's wonderful on your ends to mid shaft i wouldn't put it too close to the root unless you're planning on really blow drying your hair and it's really a really good finishing product before you blow dry and you can use it on wet or dry hair and it's basically extraordinary blend of premium oil designed to dramatis dramatically reduce drying time while eliminating frizz locking in moisture blocking out humidity and it leaves your hair soft and ultra glossy and that's all you want from an oil one of the last products that I have for you guys is the Kenra Platinum Silkening Gloss. This product is my cherry on top. It is an amazing product for after you're done styling your hair. So I flat iron my hair this morning. I just give it a quick uh, touched up to make sure that my hair was nice and frizz free and dent free from the night before. And I'm going to be displaying this one. So I'm just grabbing one, pi uh, one pump of this product and rubbing it in it is a bit of a like a gloss serum oil and you just go ahead and put it through your hair and what this product does basically it helps to shine it helps the um flyaways it helps pretty much with just finishing your look and it works on curled hair it works on straightened hair blow out hair it works on everything and i can tell you the things that the the reason why this product is so amazing is really the smell this smells like candy it smells like people keep telling me oh this smells like strawberries it smells like melons it smells like everybody thinks that it has a different smell but it is a very very clean scent it's sweet it's flirty it's young and it's fresh and I feel like this product is just my cherry on top. It's not a necessity, but it's just, it adds shine to your hair, make sure that your hair looks alive and not dull after styling it. You know, sometimes if you're curling your hair and you feel like your curl, it's just not looking so nice and it's not shiny and pretty and healthy. Just add a little bit of this and it will definitely uh, create this glossiness to it to make sure that your hair looks alive and hydrated and just pretty. So. This basically is my last step to my hair. Uh, if you guys want to know as far as what kind of hot tools I use, I will have them listed down below so that you can see. And uh, hopefully that helps you decide if you, if you want to upgrade on your hot tools. I will list down the, below my blow dryer, my curling iron, my flat iron, uh, my round brush. One last thing that I forgot to mention is the wet brush so i use the wet brush it is amazing for bleached hair 
colored hair, damaged hair, extensions. The reason behind it is the soft bristles. You don't want to use a hard brush or like one of those plastic brush that has all the bristles sticking out. You want something softer. You can use a paddle brush as long as the bristles are pretty flexible. That's what you want to do. And the way that I brush my hair when I have my extensions in, which I do, is basically very simple. If my hair is dry, take a step back. So when my hair is dry, my extension is very simple for me to brush through. And what I do is I grab onto the hair through like a ponytail. And I like to hang it on my arm. And I just slowly start from the bottom. And that's it. I will go to the other side. And this at this point, it should be good enough to go ahead and comb through the back. And I go to the top. And the way that you want to do it is you kind of want to angle your head down. And this way, it kind of avoids the bristle to get into your extensions, depending on what type of extension. If you're doing tape, or if you're doing beaded, or if you're whatever you got. So this is a really good way. And I just go straight on top, very gently. And once I feel like all the knots are out, this is the result. So very simple. Uh, I will list down a two different routine uh, for purple shampoo and also extensions with all of my recommendation like don't go to bed with your hair wet don't do this you know so uh, make sure make sure to check it out below if you have extensions or if you're planning on getting extensions it's very important for you to be educated to make sure that your hair and the new hair that you have that you spend a lot of money on stays as healthy as possible for the longest for, the, for as long as possible so this completes my routine. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something. If you have any questions as far as hair care treatment, uh, ingredients, anything, hot tools, I just comment down below. I'll be very more than happy to answer any questions that you have. And I hope you guys have a good day. I hope that you have a good hair day as well. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.